Hi guys, in this video, I will take you through some common problems and solutions with your alocasias, Sabrina, and alocasias in general. This video also forms part of a larger alocasia care video. So, common problems and solutions with your alocasia, Sabrina. Um, Sunted growth and brown patches on the leaves, which is usually due to under watering and dehydration. And you can just make sure that you give your plant a little bit more moisture to kind of help to combat that problem. Brown leaf edges could be due to low humidity, so to combat this you can run a humidifier in the same room as your plant, and if you don't have humidifier you can also just spray the leaves regularly. Again, uh, this is something that will, will, will obviously be, be more of a problem in the dry summer months, but it can also be a problem in the colder winter months if you have heating in your house. Wash out leaves and brown patches could, could be due to your plants um, being in direct sunlight. Alocasias love um, bright indirect light, but they don't want any direct sunlight. So if you move your plant out of direct sunlight, the new flush of leaves uh, should be perfectly f um, fine and healthy. The yellowing lower leaves could be a sign that your plant is getting too much moisture. So if you cut back a bit on the, the watering, it should be perfectly fine. Mold on the surface of your potting soil could have two causes, too little light and over watering. To combat this, replace the top two inches of soil and move your plant into perhaps a bit more of a brighter location, but not in direct sunlight. If your plant has um, floppy petals and severe wilting with yellowing lower leaves, uh, this could be a sign of root rot, which could be caused by too much uh, moisture in the pot in combination with too little light, which will cause a decreased photosynthesis in your plant, will therefore result in your plant not taking up as much water from the growing media. To combat root rot, use a pair of sterile scissors to cut off the affected area of your plant, making sure not to disturb the healthy part of your plant too much to limit the shock of being transplanted. Plant the healthy section of plant into a smaller pot to accommodate the new root ball and fill in with well-draining potting mix. Increased oxygen also helps to combat against root rot. You can use a solution of hydrogen peroxide mixed with water and water your plant about every third of watering with that mixture to increase oxygen in the pot. I'll soon be doing a video specifically on this topic. In my experience, stressed plants are usually much more susceptible to pests than healthy plants. And the usual culprits are usually mealybugs, scale and spider mites. To deal with these, you can use a combination of optimal growing conditions and a suitable insecticide. And so these were some of the common problems with alocasias, Sabrina and alocasias in general. This video does form part of a larger alocasia care video, which I'll put up in the screen for you guys. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to see more videos like these.